Hello, my friends. What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome to Dome. Okay, welcome to Dome. It's it's one of my personal favorite rad towns in the game, if you even like really want to call it that. It's a it's a pretty fun place, and honestly, you can get some pretty good stuff from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you through how to loot this place, where all the crate spawns are. Honestly, it's pretty uh, pretty basic, but this is a super 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 fun place to come to early game and just fight at and stuff like that. Man, I love having early game PvP here, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can maybe catch something new on this video. And uh, just overall, just learn something, you know, because again, I'm making this Rust Guide series for a lot of you newer players that are kind of showing up to Rust. And uh, yeah, overall, let's go ahead and get into it, my friends. I'm a little bit new to doing this whole, like, looking at my character thing as I talk, because that's not like a normal thing. Usually I'm just making, like, solo vanilla Rust videos every single day, but now I'm kind of on, like, my Rust Guide grind because I uh, recently got accepted to like renting a place out and like I'm gonna be moving out and whatever and so I'm just pumping out a lot of these rust guides every single day yeah pretty much dome is just just look at it like this okay dome is a place where you can probably come here and if all the crates are here and you loot everything you can probably leave and get 200 300 scrap if you get every single crate right so that's like what your average amount of scrap is gonna be here just from my personal experience and this is also in a very, 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 very popular place to get crude oil. Crude oil is low-grade fuel, so uh, it can be really, really handy. First things first, starting out here on the outside, you have the first oil refinery right here. You walk inside there, cook up your crude oil, get low-grade, right? And then you also have one right over here, another shack. This one right here is another oil refinery. So there's actually two that are here. Pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of crude oil tends to spawn down here on the bottom. We can see that there's one here, one here, and one there, and one there. So right now we have four barrels down here. Uh, but then you also have like the basic normal component barrels here. So yeah, these red ones signify that it's crude oil, obviously. Uh, so yeah, down here underneath is one of the most common spots to get the crude oil here. But then also on top of all three of these silos, crude oil can also spawn along with normal barrels. So you can come up here. We can see that we have a crude barrel here, then a normal component barrel. Normal component barrels, crude barrel. Then over here, we actually have two crude barrels and a normal barrel. And so, yeah, pretty awesome stuff, pretty awesome stuff. Crude oil is really, 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 really important if you need low-grade. You need low-grade for, you know, um, like a lot of different things, man. You need it to power, like, lanterns or, like, wall torches. You need it for healing or, like, medical syringes, which is, like, one of the main things that you use in the game to heal. So uh, getting your low-grade up, you know, and, like, living good on low-grade is always a very, 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 very good thing. So, yeah. Uh, living near a dome can kind of assure that you will be solid on low grade. So yeah, no, pretty much to start out, this this right here is the main way to get up. And I'm not going to be doing this whole like speed run thing that's been pretty popular recently within the Rust community. Uh, I'm just going to be kind of bringing you through on the route that I like to go on and whatever. So uh, yeah, first crate is right here. Boom, then you have a barrel right over there. You come right over here this way. You go up the staircase here. Boom. And then you go up this spot right here. All the way up. I'm just jumping, jumping, jumping. You come over here, then boom, now we're inside this place. Here we are. Before the rest of this video continues, I actually forgot to mention this, but you need 11 radiation protection at least to go inside this place without getting any radiation. I'm going to go into it a little bit later on exactly what spot you need to have radiation protection at. Because you need it for pretty much the whole place, but you but like you're able to push up naked and kind of camp it like that that pipe that I walked up. You're able to come up that pipe with with no uh, radiation protection. Like you can kind of sit around like that outside area without any. So uh, I'll go into that here in a little bit. But yeah, I just thought that I would uh, put this in here, just kind of saying that yeah, you uh, you do need radiation protection to be in here. But it's only 11, so yeah. Come over here, go up this ladder. You have a crate spawn right there. Then you also should have one right here. Not all the crates are going to be spawned in on this video, but I'm going to be. Well, I mean, like I'm going to show you each of the crate spawns, but don't expect to see a crate actually spawned in on like each spot that I show. So yeah, I think there's one that's like right here though, and then there is one that's right here. Uh, I might be wrong about that one over there. I think that might not be a thing. There's two that are up there on that spot, but. Uh, on this one, there might just be one. I don't know. But yeah, pretty much come up here, loot whatever crates are right there. Then you can come down here, then there's another crate that's right here. Boom. And then, yeah, pretty much after this point, we're going to be going up, 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 up. Then you can come right here. Get right here like this. And just pretty much just go all the way up, you know? There's different ways that people like to go up. See, like, that that small thing right there, I like to always just, like, make that jump every single time. I don't know if it's actually faster or anything, but... Um, then yeah, then like right here, you just want to make this jump. Be careful with this jump, you know, make sure that like you're knowing how to jump because as a new player, you might <laughs> fail with like the timing of jumping and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this is a place where you're going to want to make sure that you kind of know what you're doing when it kind of like comes to jumping. And I'm going to go over that with this other jump that's here. So yeah, we come around this way. Now we're back inside dome on a higher level. Come over here. There's two beige crate spawns right here. Boom. Amazing. Have to love it. 
Then you come down right here, you walk right here on this. This right here leads you to another crate spawn. Boom. Now pretty much the way that I do this, I always just come right here and then just jump right here just because I need to go back that way. But if you want to just like play it safe, come right up here. Okay. Come right here, jump up right here, and then go back this way, right? Uh, this right here is a jump that when you're new to the game, you might be not... You might miss it a little bit here and there. And one thing that I've learned is to not run and jump because I feel like that's just a... I don't know, like, you should not jump like that in this game. It makes sense. Like, what do you mean don't run and jump? A new player might be a little bit confused about that. And, like, it's working out. But the way that I like to jump is literally, like, getting right on the edge of whatever I'm on. Let's just use this right here, for example. And then I just, you know, like, W shift space, like, at the same time. And, like, if I just do that over and over, you, you, like, you can just kind of see that, like, I'm jumping, right? And, like, I think that I tap W before any other key. Yeah, like you can just like kind of see that like I'm just like hopping around and whatever, right? That that just kind of assures you that like you're always gonna jump like the correct distance. So what I do anytime that I'm here, I always just come right here, stop, W shift space, boom, I jump over. So, because sometimes when you run and jump, I don't know, like you can mess up the timing, then you're gonna fall down there, crunch your legs. You don't always die when you fall down there, but a lot of the time you will. So yeah, pretty much you make that jump, you come around this way, boom, here we are. We go up, 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 up. You have a couple barrel spawns that are right here. We have one that's right there. Then I think there might be a, a second one that's there, but I'm not 100% sure. Then you can just come up this way or go up the ramp, whichever way you really prefer. And then up here is where uh, I guess all the magic happens. You know, you have four green crate spawns up here. By default, only green crate. So, boom, we got a Thompson right there. Super, super lucky. We got an SMG body. We got a rifle body. And then also three tech trash. I like to call this a router. I don't even... Like, with how much hours I have, I don't even know what that thing's even used for. I'm just going to be real. So, uh, yeah. Usually I always just, like, recycle that. You can always look into it because it might be for something that you're kind of interested in. But, yeah, now pretty much to get down, I'm going to come back this way. Okay, first things first, there's two different ways to get down. There's two different ways. This is not a way that I like to do it. But there's, like, okay, yeah. So, like, we're up here. We come over here. Then you can, like, you can drop down, like, off, like, the side of this place here. Off, like, these pipes. Um... And, like, you can literally, like, come right here. And, like, you can, like, drop down, like, the center of, like, these pipes here. Yeah, like, right there I would have just now died. So, like, it's possible to go down these pipes and then land right down here without taking any fall damage. I don't prefer doing it just because it's, like, a bit risky. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. So, pretty much the way that I'm going to get down, we're right here. It's actually getting ready to turn nighttime. Come down right here. You come down right here. Literally where we just now were at. Come down right here, right here, then you're going to have like this small gap right here. This right here is one of the crates that we had already looted, so this probably is not going to be here on like your normal run. Then you get down here, and then get down here. And again, just make sure that like you're holding down D as like you're going down like the side of this, just to kind of glide on it, right? Then you come right here, jump across this, jump across this. Then you can get down right here and go down and whatever. Or if there's like people right here and like you just and, and just like you don't want to get down, then you can come right back up here the way that, that uh, we already went and go around this way, go up this ramp, come right here, and then you can drop down right here, like this. And then you can drop down on this, and then boom! Now you're on the silos. So now you can just take the staircase down if you want. So, yeah, that's pretty much dumb. Very, 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 very simple place to go and loot pretty self-explanatory like if you just you know make your way up and just follow just like how it goes it's pretty pretty simple to do um oh yeah by the way to actually go inside this place you need 11 rad protection okay you can get all the way up to this point right here to like right here but then as soon as you're like right here and like going inside you need at least 11 radiation protection which you know i have 15 with a wetsuit on right now but the way that you get rad protection is by putting clothes and stuff on and all that so you want to make sure that, that number right there is at least 11 when going here so um so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video if you guys made it here to the end of this uh dome walkthrough comment dome down in the comments to signify that you made it here to the end or maybe that you learned something new or you were just chilling listening along you know uh check out my other rust guides if you're interested on it i'm gonna be doing like a run through of like every single rad town pretty much uh so yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace out love you and uh bye bye dear.